Morning. Um, I'm just having my morning coffee. As you can see, I'm still um, sort of my breakfast, breakfast um, night clothes. Um, this morning, I'm going to review the 12 volt multi can, multi socket with twin USB. Uh, the reason I got this was I have a sat nav which needs a cigarette lighter, and then I have my tab which needs the USB as well as my mobile phone. Um, I got the can holder version because I have an, uh, a Mercedes A180 which has two cup holders that I never use um, because generally when I'm driving I don't drink or eat when I'm driving because I don't want to get stuff on my clothes. <laughs> That's the real reason. <laughs> but first thing I would say is you need a knife or a pair of scissors to open this thing. Um, I've already cut the strip down, just cut it down the edge and take it off. But I, I really wanted to have a look at it because the one I borrowed off my brother, which was a different manufacturer, the quality was terrible. Um, because when you went over bumps in the car, what I was finding is the phones and the sat nav would go on and off constantly. Um, which, when you're driving a long way to find it, the phone's still flat, it's a bit annoying. Um, because it sort of defeats the object, they're trying to charge the bloody thing. Uh, as you can see, I'm battling with the box. The cable goes through the middle. We'll get in there. Okay, we beat it. Um, the first thing I want to say though is the construction is okay. It's not. It's not too cheap and nasty. Um, the, adapt, the actual joint here is rubberized, not plastic, which helps to stop the cable getting damaged. Um, it also has the high, mid and 12 volts and low levels on here. Probably something I'll never ever use, but I assume yeah, it's for the car battery levels, the charging levels. Um, the cigarette lighter is looks okay so far. Um, it's also fused as well, by the way. So if you took this bit off, you'll find there's a little fuse inside. That's important if you're overcharging and cause an electrical short because you'd rather blow a fuse than set fire to your electric systems in the car or cause uh, wire damage. Um, this, this is a bit cheaper. Um, as you can see, they stick the metal clips stick out a bit, which means when you're putting it back together, you've got to make sure you squeeze them in. Not a biggie because it also helps keep the the tip on, but I wouldn't expect this to be anything fantastic because it's most of these are cheap now. Uh, but the main thing I was interested in is this bit because when I plugged that in on the, the one my brother has, it doesn't really stick. It's like wobbling all over the place, which is why um, the one he has is constantly on, off, on, off, which isn't good for your electronics, but also never charges. Um, they've actually added this little extra ring on this one. I don't know if you can see it. Well, this, this will actually should. Let me drop that in there. Once you line it up, should be able to push that in. Or maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna go in this one solid. Uh, I think it's the angle that goes in. Yeah, so won't well, well work on its own one, but it goes in slightly. The, the reason why this is quite important is once you push it down, it stops the thing moving around. So if I take it out, you get a little bit of movement. Um, which, with the other one, these rings aren't as tight as this one. Um, which is why it, it's like, when you're using it, you can actually feel it moving almost as much as that. But I'm glad to say this one, um, which is made by Ring, it's much better quality. Um, if it breaks, I'll let you know, but um, I'm, I'm not ready to go out to the car yet, but from what I'm seeing, the construction is pretty good. And 
is pretty robust. So good job, Byron. Okay, thanks for watching.